Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and today I got something really exciting for y'all. Something that I've been waiting for anxiously and it has finally arrived and I'm talking about the Devo Knives Fireball. They have landed and before we even get into the knife, I want to kind of give you a backstory for all my new people that are here and what this knife means, what the name means and what this community is to me. So we have a Devo Fireball. I'm gonna take closer shots of this in a little while when I pan on down. It's my design that I collaborated with Devo Knives because they were the best fit for me at the time. And it's been great working with Kevin and Colin of Devo Knives, two awesome guys. And they were on board with the name of the knife. It worked out perfect because all their knives have references to alcohol in some way and that, you know, a Fireball drink. Well, the name was fitting because for any of y'all who don't know, you, you know, you can see my body. I was blown up in a chemical plant explosion nine years ago now, almost took my life and it, it had me in a very dark place in life. Like I was very depressed, no enjoyment of life whatsoever. And it was a very, very tough time because in one day, one quick instant, my whole life got turned upside down. I no longer had a job. I no longer were with my brothers. You know, those guys that I worked with, I saw more than my regular family. And just to know all that was over with was a very hard pill to swallow. Um, try not to get choked up, I'm sorry. Uh, so a buddy of mine from work told me that I should start doing YouTube. You know, he knew I was into knives. He knew I had a lot of knowledge on knives. It's always been a passion of mine. I've always been a collector. I've always, been interested in the fine details of a knife, you know, ins and outs, uh, modifying them, everything. So I kind of pushed back on that for a long time. And some of y'all know my buddy Copper Dice. Well, he's the one that kind of pushed me over the edge to just start to record videos for this channel. And I probably recorded 15 videos that never saw the light of day because I hate the way I sound on camera. I still don't like the way I sound on camera and I edit all my videos. But I took that leap of faith, and to say this community saved my life, that's an understatement as well. Because it has truly saved my life. Not the only thing, I mean, of course, I see multiple counselors, you know, psychiatrists and stuff like that for mental health and my family. But y'all are definitely a big piece of that puzzle because if I did not have the outlet to talk to the camera, to connect with you guys in the comments, I think I would still be in that place that I was beforehand. So it brought me out of that darkness because I, I did not want to see anybody. I did not want to talk to anybody. But when I started doing this and started seeing how genuine everybody was and how awesome this community is, it brought me, brought me out of that darkness. And now looking back, it's the best thing I've ever done. I get so much out of this channel more than y'all know you know i know some people say thank you for this video it helped me even those videos it helps me more than it's helping you i promise so i just want to say thanks to everybody who's been a loyal follower of mine even my new followers thanks i just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart y'all don't understand what this channel is doing for me mentally as well as brings me joy. It's my hobby. I, I love everything about it. And when the community is as good as, as this one is, it makes it, you know, an enjoyable place to be. Now, of course, I get burned out. I do, I do seven days a week videos, or I did seven days a week for a long time. I've been kind of cutting back, trying to take Sundays off, you know, from here, here and there. But I still do Sunday videos from time to time and I usually try to put up shorts because I'm putting up three shorts a day and a full length video every single day. Plus now I'm also on TikTok putting up three videos, even though it's usually the shorts I put up here. But that's a lot of time that I wake up. This is my full time job. I can't work in a, a regular setting anymore. I'll never do that. I won't ever be at a work in a regular job anymore. So this is all I got. So every it, it means the world to me. You know, y'all support. I have some great supporters here on YouTube. You know, every one of y'all, I know, I know who y'all are. You know, the ones that comment, the ones that watch every single video, no matter if it's something they like or not, they're hitting the like button. I know, I see, I know exactly who y'all are. You know, even if we don't talk, 
through comments all the time. <clears throat> I can see because I, I you know, I see the, I see your little uh, handle pop up on YouTube and thank you. That's all I can say, you know, and even if you're not a person that comments all the time, but you, you support the channel, you know, I, I can't thank you enough. You all mean the same to me. And <laughs> this knife is a culmination of all those things. You know, I have tons of knife designs that I have in a book that I've, I've been drawing before I even had this channel. And I just kind of drag my feet because I'm, I'm OCD when it comes to certain things. And <clears throat> I never I never was happy with any of my designs, even this one. But Kevin said from Devo said, just let me see some of them and we'll try to pick one and we'll run with it. So that's how it, that's how that started. So for anybody who actually picks up one of these, thank you. I can't thank you enough. I know everybody that wants one is not going to get one. If this run goes well, we plan on doing a second run. But it's going to depend on how this run does, obviously. And I hope you all enjoy the Devo Fireball. So let's paint on down and take a look at it. We're going to go through all three variations. And I'm just going to be showing you all what's going to be available. And I'm going to do a full review with, with the cut test and everything right before the drop. So without further ado, we have the first variation. This one's in the black pearl camo carbon. Stunning material. Then we have the back strap that's titanium that wraps around right here. So it makes this even more comfortable in hand when using. Colin designed this sweet pivot. I think it looks stunning. Then we went with the small diamond texture on the sides of the back strap and then the keyholes on the top. Those keyholes match my thumb hole design right here. Then we have a 3D milled tie pocket clip. I think um, Colin came up with that sweet clip as well. <coughs> now, What's cool about this design, <clears throat> as you see, there's no extra holes for lefty carry on here, but we didn't forget about the lefties. There's gonna be some lefty kits, and I think there's gonna be some that are already set up lefty. So if you're a lefty, all it takes is a swap of a backspacer. So this right here is the right-handed carry backspacer, like, like you see right there that's already on it. And then you, we have one for lefties. And the way this is working is, is underneath here, they're tapped for both sides already. But in order to be able to keep it nice and clean looking without the holes on this side, they came up with this option to where you could just have a, the, a backspacer. Now, if you wanted, I think they're going to be selling some of these separately too. So if you wanted to be able to carry it both left and righty, you could get the other backspacer. Like say, if you bought the right-handed carry one, you know, Kevin and them are setting up that on the Devo Knife site. So <clears throat> however they set it up, that's that's how it's going to be. But I'm pretty sure we discussed that there's going to be some that are already set up lefty for the lefties out there. And then I think they may have some of these on the site if you want to be able to carry it lefty or righty. We have the, the Black Pearl Camo Carbon comes with this beautiful satin grind. And Kubi absolutely nailed it. Kubi Knives is the OEM for this. They have gotten so good in their OEM work. But you have this nice deep hollow grind. I love a good hollow grind. They slice very well. Um, and it just it goes with the flow of the, the blade design, in my opinion. Comes down nice and thin. See there? Got a nice long row of grippy jimping. That, I mean, does a great job. And you can either choke back right here, which I still have a four-finger grip in my medium-sized hands, and then... We did this flat spot right here, so if you want to choke up, get right up to that edge, you can easily do that. And we decided on the blade steel, which is, and I think I talked about it in the last go round, is CPM S90V steel. Kubi does test samples where they check the HRC. Whenever I worked at a machine shop, we would have tests like every 30 pieces, depending on the variance of how how tight we had to get the variants they check however many and the ones that they checked were all right at like 62 hrc and that's excellent especially for production run i'm, I'm good with that sharpening choil you know I'm, I'm okay with it they brought the plunge grind back enough you see it it stops right here so you just you just got to make sure you don't put too much pressure back here because it'll widen up 
quickly if you do. But I do like this way it's done because I can continue to go up with it if I want to extend it myself once, you know, I, once I start to flare here. So, you know, it's a give and take there. And I think it's fine the way it is. You have beautiful access to the lock bar. Love the way they did that. Nice and comfortable to get my finger in there. The lock up on this thing is super tight. And this knife should be a very sturdy locked up knife because you have this back strap and inside you have nested liners that are skeletonized, of course, but you have nested liners and you have, I don't know if you can see that in there, you have two standoffs that are kind of holding up this, or holding this thing into place. So should be a pretty sturdy knife. Nice and comfortable. So that's the first one. That is the Black Pearl Camo Carbon. So this was the original blue. This is the electric blue Camo Carbon. And we all thought that it just didn't have a lot of the blue in there. And blue's like my channel color. Blue's my favorite color. So being that Camo Carbons here in the U.S., you know, we were able to talk with them and ask them if they could put more blue into that. And they said, of course they could. So they made some custom electric blue scales for uh, the Fireball. And now you can see this side has a little bit more. But if you look at this side, you, you have, it's very faint. So look at it now. Outstanding. Now, I don't know how it's going to show up in my, in my video, but whenever I was looking at it, from the factory like see when I do it like that I was thinking that all this was white I don't know if y'all can see see like where the actual carbon fiber is like shining in the light right there it looked like it was white in the video but if you look at it like this hopefully you see what I'm saying that's really black from the actual carbon fiber and the way it's just like shining off the lights but now you can actually see that blue and that I absolutely love look at that to me, that is absolutely stunning. The electric blue is going to be the only black wash variant. So you have black everything on your hardware to go with the blue. And you have a black washed PVD blade. And it looks great. And... It, of course, it goes between this one and the next one. That I, I can't choose which one of these is my favorite, but I, I love this right here, this next one. So we have the 80s Camo Carbon, and I'm an 80s baby, so I love this one. I think it's a beautiful material. Now, it's not going to be for everybody. I know it's loud. It's got, you know, uh, neon pink, orange, and green in there. So I know, you know, it's... It's definitely not going to be for everybody, and that's that's fine. Nobody has to like the same things. You know, some people might think this is an ugly design. That's cool. It's not a big deal. We don't have to like the same things, people. But I think they all turned out absolutely amazing. I know I'm a little biased there. Um, I'd love to hear y'all feedback. Which one is y'all favorite? Do you plan on trying to get in on the run? Now we have, I think the run was 300 or 350. Sorry, I, I, my memory's terrible, but it's not a huge run. So I know everybody that wants one's not going to get one. That's just, I, there's nothing I can do about that. You know, we pay for these out of our own pockets. So they're very expensive to do a run of knives, especially when it's got all these little details with the back strap and the way we did the pivot and the, the hollow grinds with the hand hollow grinds on there. But, I still wanted to try to keep these as affordable as I could. Now, it's not a budget knife because it has S90V steel. You have camo carbon. You got titanium on it. No way I can make it a budget knife. But I do believe the price is very, very reasonable. These are going to come in at $199. I think it's great. That was where I wanted it to be. And Kevin, Colin, we all agreed that we could... We could make this run at that price point you know it, it was not easy and we're not making much off of this i can promise you that you know maybe enough to be able to do a second run hopefully if this goes you know well and y'all want a second run 
All the 10% off codes will work on this. So if your favorite creator has a 10% off uh, discount code to Devo Knives, I have a, you know, Stasi 23 is a, is a 10% off code. So those codes will work on the Devo Fireball. And the drop is scheduled as of right now. The drop is scheduled for October 17th. So put it on your calendars if you want to be part of the drop. You want to get in on this drop. If for some reason it changes, I apologize. But that is the tentative date. You know, things happen. As long as we can, as long as we can help it, it will be on October 17th. Um, but I can promise you, if for some reason it's not, it's because we could not make it work for some reason, for no reason. But... You know, that's what we're on board with right now. Each knife's going to come with a Devo Knives cloth, microfiber cloth. Pretty sure this is the box that they come in. And you'll have, you know, the the name on the side, what type of material is inside. And inside of each box, you'll get the Devo Knives sticker. I need to find out who does their stickers because they do an outstanding job. And then the Fireball sticker. That's a, beauty, that's a beautiful site there. They did a great job on the Fireball sticker. And let's see, does this come with it? So maybe I have to ask Kevin, but I'm guessing these microfiber cloths come with it as well. Now, if I'm wrong, I will correct it in either the description or in my full video testing video that I'm going to do on my own knife. So that's what comes with them. And also on the site, they will be selling the little kits that is basically just going to be the uh, pivot collars. So there are going to be different color anodizations on them. You got blue, purple, uh, satin. And then I think they're also gonna have some kits if you want if you you know want some spare stuff like the parts and stuff, the internal stuff and a pocket clip. Uh, but all that's gonna be on the Devo Knives site. I think we also discussed there's a Zerkatai pivot collar uh, kit. If you're interested in that, I don't know how many there there's gonna be, but that'll all be on the Devo site, and there's all gonna be reasonably priced. And like I said, the different backspacers, lefty or righty carry. There's going to be, majority of them going to be set up as righty carries, but I think there's going to be some that are already pre-set up as lefty carries also. These are going to be sold on the Devo Knives site. And like I said, don't, you know, any other details that I might have left out, y'all just let me know down in the comments because I'm going to be doing a full video on everything internally and all. I might, I'll probably maybe even take one apart completely just so y'all can see the insides of it. And, uh, yeah, can't, uh, I can't say how excited I am about this. I hope y'all are as excited as I am about it. Um, and you know, if this does well, then maybe I'll, I will go, I'll go ahead with one of my other designs. I think I'm going to be collaborating. I mean, unless, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if they want to do it or not, but I think my next one, uh, my next design that I'm going to let out, because I have a few of these as well, is going to be EDC Fixed Blade. Yeah, let me know what y'all think about that. I know some people aren't into them, but I do have a large portion of my uh, followers that do love the EDC Fixed Blades. They are my most viewed video on this channel, so I think that that's going to be my next design, and then, or maybe I'll do another folder with collaboration with either Devo or somebody, another, just a, a brand itself. But I have a bunch of them. And if this one is accepted well, then I will continue to, to maybe put some out here and there. Oh, man. I'm going to call it there. If you have any questions in particular, feel free to ask me down in the comments. I'll, I'll try to get to every one of the questions. It, at least I'll do my best to get to every one of the questions. Uh, I hope every one of y'all is having an outstanding Saturday. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.